Ebola virus. You ever had the flu and thought, wow, this is the worst thing ever? Now imagine that, but way worse with a dramatic flare for blood, sweat, and tears. Welcome to the nightmare known as Ebola. Ebola isn't your average virus. It's the horror movie villain of the microscopic world. It doesn't just make you sick. It throws a party in your bloodstream and invites chaos. We're talking fever, vomiting, internal bleeding, and your organs going, we're out. It spreads through bodily fluids, which means if someone's sick, sweaty, and sneezing, run. Seriously, hugging an infected person, bad. Sharing drinks, worse. Playing nurse without protection, good luck. The scary part, once symptoms show up, the clock starts ticking fast. Some strains have a 90% fatality rate. That's not a typo. Your immune system basically panics while the virus turns your body into its own haunted house. There's no guaranteed cure, but supportive care, fluids, oxygen, and not giving up can help. A few vaccines and treatments exist now thanks to science sprinting like it's being chased. So, yeah, if Ebola shows up at the party, call the CDC, wash your hands, and maybe just cancel the party. Marburg virus. If Ebola had an evil twin, its name would be Marburg. Same terrifying symptoms, same bleed from your eyeballs energy but with a name that sounds like a fancy European city. Don't be fooled, Marburg isn't booking you a spa day, it's checking your organs into a demolition derby. Discovered in 1967 when lab workers in Germany got sick from monkey cells, yeah, science went a little sideways that week. This virus makes your body freak out in high definition. First, the usual suspects, fever, chills, muscle pain, then your internal organs go, nope, and you start bleeding from everywhere, nose, gums, eyes, you name it. Marburg is like the VIP of viral hemorrhagic fevers with fatality rates up to 88%. That's not a typo, that's almost everyone. It spreads through bodily fluids, so no, you can't just walk it off. Hospital staff have to wear full biohazard suits because even sweat or a sneeze can be dangerous. There's no widely available cure, just supportive care and hope. Moral of the story? If you hear Marburg outbreak, this is your sign to avoid caves, monkeys, and anyone coughing suspiciously. Stay alert, stay safe, and never trust a virus with a name that sounds like a Bond villain. Rabies virus. The virus that turns man's best friend into a horror movie villain. It starts innocently enough. A cute raccoon, a curious bat, maybe a sketchy looking dog with a stare that says, don't pet me. One bite later, and boom, you've got a one-way ticket to crazy town. Rabies doesn't mess around. Once it's in your system, it travels up your nerves like it's on a road trip to your brain. And when it gets there, all bets are off. We're talking fever, anxiety, confusion, hallucinations, terror of water. Yeah, hydrophobia is real. And then coma and death. Because here's the kicker. Once symptoms start, rabies is almost always fatal. Like 99.99% fatal. There's no walk it off moment. But plot twist, it's 100% preventable. If you get bit, don't wait. Get the shots fast. It's not fun, but neither is foaming at the mouth and thinking you're being hunted by invisible wolves. And for the love of all that is fluffy, don't skip your pet's rabies vaccines. It's not just for their health, it's for yours too. So remember, cute animal acting weird. Back away slowly, wash the wound and get to a doctor before your brain RSVPs to the virus. HIV slash AIDS, human immunodeficiency virus. Doesn't crash into your body like a wrecking ball, it moves in quietly, unpacks its bags, and slowly rewrites the rules. HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, targets your immune system's frontline troops, those CD4 helper cells that normally protect you from all the nasty stuff out there. But HIV is a trickster. It hijacks those cells, copies itself, and leaves your immune defense crumbling like a badly built sandcastle. If left untreated, HIV progresses into AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, a stage where your body's defenses are so wiped out that even a mild infection or tiny cold can turn dangerous. Think, immune system burnout on an epic level. Here's the important part. HIV is completely manageable today. With daily antiretroviral therapy, ART, people can live full, healthy lives. Undetectable means untransmittable. Yes, science is that good now. It's spread through blood, sexual fluids, and breast milk. 
not from sharing a drink, hugging, or using the same bathroom. So ditch the fear and focus on facts. Get tested, use protection, know your status, because when you know better, you live better. And that little virus, it's got nothing on knowledge, care, and a good doctor on your side. Hanta virus sounds like the name of a sci-fi villain, and honestly, it kind of acts like one too. This bad boy doesn't come from other people, it comes from mice and rats. Yeah, those cute, twitchy-nosed furballs, their droppings, urine, and saliva can launch this virus straight into your lungs like an unwanted surprise party, and you don't even have to touch them. Just sweeping up an old shed or garage where rodents have been? Congrats, you may have just inhaled it. Hantavirus can lead to Hantavirus Pulmonary Syndrome, HPS, and it escalates fast. First, you feel like you've got the flu, fever, fatigue, muscle aches. Then, bam, your lungs fill with fluid and breathing becomes a full-time struggle. Some people go from, I feel off, to, I need a ventilator in a matter of hours. The scary part, fatality rates can reach 30 to 50% if not treated quickly. There's no specific cure, just early diagnosis and supportive hospital care. So, moral of the story, rodents don't just steal your snacks, they can wreck your lungs. Clean carefully, ventilate spaces, wear a mask, because no one wants their lungs to throw a tantrum over mouse pee. Smallpox, variola virus. Imagine a virus so nasty it terrorized humanity for thousands of years, then got kicked off the planet like a bad roommate. That's smallpox. The OG of deadly viruses, smallpox didn't play around. It spread like wildfire through coughs, sneezes, or even just hanging out near an infected person. Then came the symptoms. Fever, chills, body aches, and just when you thought it couldn't get worse, the rash. Not a cute little breakout. We're talking pimple to crater level pustules all over your body. Painful, itchy, scarring, and in about 30% of cases, fatal. Yes, 3 out of 10 people didn't make it. It wiped out millions, shaped wars, and even took out emperors. For centuries, smallpox was the ultimate final boss, until vaccines came in swinging. In 1980, after a global vaccination campaign, the World Health Organization officially declared smallpox eradicated. The first, and so far only, human disease we've completely defeated. No shots now unless you're in a lab or military unit, but the virus still sits in two high-security labs, just in case. So if you've ever wondered why we still talk about vaccines like they're superheroes, it's because they literally saved the world from this crater-covered nightmare, dengue virus, aka breakbone fever, because yes, it literally feels like your bones are being karate chopped from the inside. This little menace is spread by 80s mosquitoes, those tiny striped ninjas that strike during daylight. One bite, and suddenly you're starring in your own personal fever drama. It starts with chills, high fever, pounding headaches, muscle and joint pain, and then, bam, a rash that says, surprise. Most people recover after a miserable week or two, but about 1 in 20 cases morphs into severe dengue where your blood vessels start leaking and your platelets drop like a bad Wi-Fi signal. That's when things get dicey. Internal bleeding, shock, and hospitalization-level drama. There's no specific antiviral treatment, just fluids, rest, and playing fever bingo with your symptoms. And don't even think about taking ibuprofen or aspirin. They can make bleeding worse. Stick with acetaminophen if you need relief. The best defense? No mosquito bites. Bug spray, long sleeves, and mosquito nets are your new best friends. And if you're traveling to tropical areas, take it seriously. Dengue doesn't care how good your vacation plans are. So, yeah, tiny bug, huge consequences. Stay protected, stay hydrated, and for the love of sandals, respect the mosquito. Lassa fever virus. Meet the viral overachiever of West Africa that you've probably never heard of, but totally should have. It starts with a rat. Not the cartoon kind that cooks in Paris. Nope. We're talking multi mamate rats who love to hang out in your food, your home, and your cereal box. They drop a little urine, shed a little virus, and boom, you've got Lassa. At first, Lassa fever is sneaky. Fever? Check. Muscle aches? Sure. Feels like a regular cold or mild flu. But then it turns up the volume. Vomiting, chest pain, facial swelling, and in severe cases, internal bleeding and organ failure. Yep, that escalated fast. The scary part, 
about one in five infections lead to serious complications, and pregnant women are especially vulnerable. Worst case scenario, permanent hearing loss, shock, or death, especially if you delay treatment. But here's the hopeful twist. Early treatment with antiviral meds like ribavirin can save lives if you catch it fast. So don't play hero. If you're in an outbreak area and feeling weird, go see a doctor as soon as possible. Also, maybe don't eat anything a rat's walked on. And yes, that includes your rice. Lassa fever may be rare, but when it shows up, it doesn't mess around. Zika virus. Proof that big trouble can come in tiny mosquito-sized packages. Zika first made headlines for being weirdly chill. Most people who catch it don't even feel sick. Maybe a rash, maybe red eyes, maybe a mild fever that barely slows you down. Sounds harmless, right? Wrong. Zika's not dangerous because of how it makes you feel. It's dangerous because of what it can do before birth. If a pregnant person gets Zika, that's when it turns sinister. Zika can cause microcephaly, a condition where babies are born with abnormally small heads and underdeveloped brains. It can also lead to serious eye, hearing, and developmental problems. Suddenly, this chill virus is causing lifelong challenges for entire families. How does it spread? Mosquitoes, mostly. But here's the twist. It can also spread through sex and even blood transfusions. Yep, it's got range. No cure, no vaccine, yet. Just prevention which means bug spray, mosquito nets, long sleeves, and if you're pregnant or planning to be, maybe skip the tropical getaway for now. So remember, Zika may seem mild on the surface, but it plays a long game. Protect yourself, protect your future family, and don't underestimate the bite. Nipah virus. It's terrifyingly efficient at being deadly. It all started with fruit bats casually dropping saliva or droppings onto fruit that pigs and later humans decided to snack on. One innocent bite, and suddenly, welcome to fever, confusion, seizures, and full-on brain inflammation. We're talking encephalitis, folks, the kind that can put you in a coma within days. Some people go from feeling off to being unconscious like their brain hit the emergency off switch. And the death rate, buckle up, it ranges from 40% to 75%, depending on the outbreak. That's not just serious, it's we need a Netflix docuseries serious. Worse yet, it can spread from human to human. Not easily, but when it does, doctors and caregivers are often the first targets. There's no cure, no vaccine, just intensive supportive care, and a whole lot of hope. Oh, and staying far, far away from fruit that might have been nibbled on by a flying mammal. So the next time you see a cute bat hanging in a tree, remember, it might not be a vampire but it could be carrying a virus that makes your brain call in sick permanently. Influenza, Spanish flu strain in 1918. You've had the flu before, right? Some chills, a fever, Netflix, and chicken soup. Now imagine that flu but on steroids, crashing into the world like it's got something to prove. Welcome to the 1918 Spanish flu, the pandemic that made history wish it had a skip button. This wasn't your average sniffle and sweat situation. The H1N1 influenza strain of 1918 hit hard and fast, infecting a third of the world's population and killing an estimated 50 million people globally. That's more than World War I managed, and it was running at the same time. Here's the twist. It didn't just hit the very old or very young. It wiped out healthy young adults in their prime, people in their 20s and 30s, sometimes within days of symptoms starting. Why? Scientists think their immune systems overreacted, turning lungs into battlegrounds of inflammation. There were no vaccines, no antivirals, no ventilators, just masks, quarantines, and hope. The good news? It eventually burned out because of immunity and social measures. The bad news? It taught us the flu can go full apocalypse mode. So next time you're offered a flu shot, say yes. History doesn't need a sequel. COVID-19. Remember when Corona just meant beer and vacations? Yeah, good times. Then came COVID-19, caused by the virus SARS-CoV-2, and suddenly, the entire planet hit pause. First discovered in late 2019, this virus went global faster than any TikTok trend. It spreads through droplets and aerosols when we talk, cough, breathe, basically just existing. One person gets it, then five, then entire countries go into lockdown mode. The symptoms? A grab bag of misery, fever, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, 
loss of taste and smell, which honestly felt like a personal attack on snacks. But here's the kicker. Some people had no symptoms at all while still spreading it around like glitter. For others, it got way worse. Hospitalization, ventilators, blood clots, and long COVID, where symptoms linger for months. Millions died. Billions were affected. Economies froze. Schools shut down. Toilet paper vanished like it owed someone money. But science stepped up. Vaccines were developed at record speed, saving millions of lives. Masks, distancing, and boosters became normal. Kind of. We're still living with it, but we're smarter now. So wash your hands, stay updated, and respect your immune system. Because when COVID entered the chat, the world definitely got a reality check. Yellow fever virus. The tropical troublemaker with a name that sounds like sunshine and lemonade, but delivers vomit and doom instead. Transmitted by Aedes and Hemagogus mosquitoes, this virus doesn't waste time. One bite, and it's off to the races inside your body. At first, it's all flu vibes, fever, chills, muscle aches, and nausea. Annoying, but survivable. But for about 15% of unlucky folks, it comes back for round two. And that's when things get dramatic. We're talking organ failure, bleeding from your eyes, and the signature move, vomiting black blood, charmingly nicknamed black vomit. Not so sunny now, huh? Why yellow? Because one of the more gruesome features is jaundice. Your skin and eyes turn yellow as your liver taps out and your body panics. There's no cure, only supportive care, and a big old prayer that your immune system pulls through. The good news? There's a vaccine and it works beautifully. One shot equals long-lasting protection. Done. Boom. So if you're headed anywhere tropical where yellow fever still lurks, get the shot. Seriously, because you want your vacation photos to include palm trees and beaches. Not four bags and a haunted shade of yellow. Rotavirus. The tiny viral wrecking ball that turns toddlers into little fountains of chaos. This bad boy mainly targets babies and young children, and it's a master at one thing. Diarrhea. Like, explosive, relentless. Where did it all come from, diarrhea? Throw in vomiting, fever, and a complete loss of appetite, and suddenly you've got a kid who's not just sick. They're a biohazard zone on two legs. It spreads fast and dirty, literally. Anything touched by contaminated poop, yes, we're going there, can carry it. Toys, tables, hands, food. One finger in the mouth, and boom, infection unlocked. The biggest danger isn't just the mess. It's dehydration. Rotavirus can drain a kid faster than a leaky bathtub, and in severe cases, it lands them in the hospital needing IV fluid stat. The good news, we're not helpless. Vaccines exist, and they're a game changer. In countries where they're widely used, hospitalizations have plummeted. So unless you love cleaning up bodily fluids at 3 a.m., make sure your kid gets their shots. Because rotavirus doesn't care how cute your baby is, it'll still turn your living room into a mini ER if you let it. Trust us, prevention beats mopping every time.